Today I'm talking about the True Wireless Huawei T19 earphones, which caught my attention for having a larger case that also works as a 2500 mAh power bank. Huawei is a brand I already reviewed in a previous post and they left good impressions. Let's see how this model goes then. The case indeed has large dimensions, although it still maintains a suitable shape to be kept in my pocket. It's all made of plastic, partly matte, partly glossy, and it has a battery indicator LED that's very useful. The connection ports are at the front, protected by a small cover. We have a common USB for power bank function, and one micro USB to charge the case itself. The capsules ended up being a positive surprise for me, since they have an ergonomic shape and fit nicely in the ears. I recommend that you test the spare ear tips that come in the packaging, because it was one of those that provided me with the best possible fit, and of course, the best sound experience. Controls over songs are made by these touch-sensitive areas in each capsule. Honestly, it's a good touch solution, because it makes it very clear where the sensitive area is, that is, you can adjust the earphones without accidentally pausing the song or so. But the system also has its flaws. One day I was running on the treadmill and after I got sweaty, I touched one of the capsules to pause the music. After that, the T19 started to turn down the volume by themselves, because sweat was activating the touch area. So yeah, it's good to have volume control, but it can be inconvenient sometimes, especially during workouts. Oh, and as you can see, each capsule has its own LED glowing lights to indicate power. It's a beautiful effect, I must say, but it will be there all the time. If you often listen to music in bed at night next to your husband or wife, ask them if this will be okay. <laughs> Regarding sound quality, my impressions were actually better than expected. The T19 integrate the whole of warm audio earphones, since they emphasize bass and treble. They send out in pop and electronic music, maybe hip-hop, and in genres like classic rock, the vocals can be a little bit muffled, but in fact, I just heard all genres anyway. In comparison to other famous earphones, like the Redmi Air Dots from Xiaomi, I would say that the T19 has a slightly more dominant bass, which can drown out the mid-tones more intensely. The battery is not exactly a highlight, but it's good. In continuous use, with volume at about 80%, they lasted 4 hours before turning off. The case, as already said, has a lot of spare charge, but a lot of that can be lost in the process of energy transfer, so actually I was able to recharge the capsules around 8 times. And this is an important issue with the case. Although it has more battery than most other models, they deliver results that are not outstanding. To recharge smartphones with the front USB port, I'd say it will only serve for emergencies and will charge a fraction of your battery. In my use, I have to say that these were stable earphones, which didn't present any signal drop, and the IPX5 water resistance made them go through a rain without damage. In the end of the day, I get this feeling that the Huawei T19 could be a little bit more than they actually are. They won't be the ultimate solution for battery life as I expected, but still, they're above average. And in sound quality and ergonomics, they deliver very good results, which support my good image about this manufacturer. Price is around $30, and this is a reasonable range for those who want to try something different without spending a lot. If you are interested in purchasing them, the link where I got this product is at the description below the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I see you in the next one. Bye!